one of the most promising young Filipino basketball player did a trick shot. An inspiring Filipino astronaut finally going to the moon. One of the most promising young Filipino basketball player hit a trick shot. News with no bias. News with no exception. Delivering nothing but the truth. This is News Express, your news our business. Broadcasting live from Imus Cavite. Good afternoon, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Good afternoon, Cavite. It's Monday, December 13, 2021. This is News Express bringing you the top story, sure you will know by us. I am Krishna Nato. And I am Inis Ligaspi, serving you the hottest and the most leading news of the hour. Your news, our business. For the national news, Edwin Peralta III, who is an aspiring Filipino astronaut, has the chance to be the first Filipino to walk on the moon. Mr. Edwin Peralta is among the 10 astronauts who will train for NASA's upcoming Artemis mission with the goal of sending humans back to the moon and eventually to the new planet. Here is Elaine Gendarina for the details. Good afternoon, Kisha Inis. Mr. Edwin Pirado III is an aspiring Filipino astronaut that was chosen by NASA to train and be the first Filipino to join the Artemis mission. Hopefully, he will be the first Filipino to walk on the newly discovered planet. The space agency is aiming for a 2027 landing and the group of astronauts announced last week are among the most diverse team NASA has ever put together. Thank you, Elaine. Now that he was chosen as one of the trainees, all Filipinos are hoping for his success. If Edwin was chosen and landed safely on the newly discovered planet, what will be the acceleration due to gravity on this planet in terms of acceleration due to gravity on Earth, given that the planet has the same mass as Earth but twice the radius? Well, that is a good question, Eunice. The answer would be one fourth or quarter. And all of you might be asking, how? For this, we can use two formulas, the formula of the universal of gravitation and the formula of Newton's second law. In the universal gravitation, F is for force, G is for gravitational constant, M1 and M2 as the masses of the two objects, and R as the distance between the center of the masses. For the second law, force is equal to mass multiplied by acceleration. We know that the force due to gravity on Earth is equal to mg. We can use this to set the force equations equal to one another. Notice that the mass cancels each other. This new equation sets up the value of acceleration due to gravity on Earth. The new planet has a radius equal to twice of Earth. That means it has a radius of 2r. It has the same mass as Earth, Me, which is equal to 1 since the mass is not given. Using these two variables, we can set up an equation for the acceleration due to gravity on the new planet. Expand this equation to compare it to the acceleration of gravity on Earth. We had previously solved for the gravity on Earth, and we can substitute this into the new acceleration equation. The acceleration due to gravity on this new planet will be one quarter of what it will be on Earth. Thank you, Elaine, for the elaborative and edifying explanation. Now, we do hope that our aspiring astronaut will be the first Filipino to set a foot on the newly discovered planet. We do hope you all the best, Mr. Edwin Peralta III. And I hope you for watching at home, please send carefully to Elaine in order to know how to solve a problem, including Newton's law of gravitation. Now, for the sport news, Rafael Aquino Sese, who is a young Filipino basketball player, wows everyone with his trick shot. Mr. Rafael Aquino Sese posted on Instagram a short clip of his trick shot and it has gathered 7.3 million views and 3.1 million likes. Here's the link for the details. 
Mr. Rafael Aquino Sese is one of the most promising basketball players of our country. And him posting an incredible trick shot is a big deal. Let's see the video. That is an amazing trick shot. Elaine, can you elaborate more what's going on with the video? Yes, absolutely. Rafael shoots the 0.60 kilograms basketball 6.1 meters above the ground. Then the ball goes to the net and perfectly landed on the water bottle that is 1.5 meters above the ground. Well, that is incredible. You must have to put a lot of practice in that. But I have a question, Elaine. What is the gravitational potential energy of the basketball relative to the ground when it is released and had landed? And what is the overall change in gravitational potential energy? Well, that is a lot of questions and you're lucky that I'm happy to answer it. The gravitational potential energy relative to the ground is found by using the formula gravitational energy is equal to mass multiplied by acceleration due to gravity multiplied by height. So at the release point, the mass of the ball is multiplied to the acceleration due to gravity and the height of the shot, which brings us to the total of 35.87 joule. Then at the final point, where the ball landed on top of the water bottle, the mass of the ball is multiplied to the acceleration due to gravity and the height of the water bottle above the ground, which brings us a total of 8.820 joules. Now, in order to find the change in gravitational potential energy, we have to subtract the gravitational potential energy of the ball when it had landed on top of the water bottle to the gravitational potential energy of the ball when it was released, which gives us the answer, negative 27.05 joules. Wow, that's a lot. Thank you, Elaine, for that very informative and very detailed explanation. I'm pretty sure that the people watching are surprised at how gravitational potential energy can be computed. Yes, absolutely. But it was relatively easy if you listened carefully and attentively to Elaine. But I'm sure Mr. Rafael Cesar practiced really hard to do that trick shot. For the recap of today's hottest news, an inspiring Filipino astronaut finally going to the moon. One of the most promising young Filipino basketball player did a trick shot. This has been News Express. I'm Krisha Maynato and I am Eunice Legaspi. See you again next time for another 5 minutes of News with no bias, News with no exemption. This is News Express, your news, our business. God bless, keep safe everyone.